What's going on everybody? I'm back again with another blog. And today I'm gonna to be exploring one of the top destinations in Seattle, which is Pike Place Market. And it's not just a market, it's actually a neighborhood that covers a few blocks. And it's the original market in Seattle. And it pretty much represents what Seattle is, you know, all the artists and all the food. It's really, really huge. So, you know, the neighborhood takes a few blocks and the market is really big. So you can have a lot of fun and you can spend a whole day exploring around. So I'm gonna take you guys with me, so join me. So, to my left side is like the main area that you guys always see the Pike Place Market. What's up, man? <laughs> Good? Yeah, but then on the other side, there's even more here. I never knew they had more around this area. And it's usually like a market, you know, with fresh fruits, fresh vegetables. So, really here, just literally like a city within a city. You know, you can spend a whole day here exploring the market, you know. So, I'm gonna be walking around. So the market is mostly known for its fish. Sample here, muscat grapes. <laughs> Fruits here, we got grapes. You know, I'll get a sample. Can I get really good, they're called muscat grapes. Really? Let's try it. Fresh Ooh. Yeah, I can eat all day. Mmm. <laughs> really good, good grapes. And also, I heard that Washington, the state of Washington, they produce like really good apples, so it's, it comes, you know, from here. I think it's pretty interesting how the market goes down a hill. Then there's like coffee shops around, cookie shops, desserts. It actually smells, you know, pretty fresh. Smoothies, you know, I'm a fan of smoothies, fresh juice. Sell a little bit of everything. Now I'm just going to walk inside the market. And crazy that the market is like two or three floors if you keep going down. There's like more options happening around here, but yeah. Really huge, you know. Sanitary public market, you know, if you're a fan of market, you're really gonna love this place. You gotta come here, you know, for real. So I'm really tempting to try this place. It looks like pretty good. And then as you walk around here, it's a flower joint. Chicken Valley, so they got food here, you know. And you see collections of clothes. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Atwater Market in Montreal, Canada, which I made a video there too. But this one's even bigger. And you find a bit of everything. And they specialize here, you know, with the seafood. Look at this fish. I wonder if this is the place where they throw the fish. Too bad I'm allergic to seafood. I can only eat like regular fish, but yeah. And they got fresh vegetables over here. Wow, it's like a marathon of vegetables. This is insane. Beautiful vegetables too, you know? Yeah, they got like more vegetables. Then they got all this over here doing their thing. I gotta tell you, I've never seen a market like this. It's a vibe right here. It is a vibe. You can't come to Seattle and not check out this market. It's literally a vibe, like everybody's selling all types of things here, from painting, to their own joints, you know. I get this area is more with artists, you know, they sell the clothes and stuff, not just food. The food is on the other side, but this is just like one floor. This is, the market has a couple of floors, so. Just keeps going, and I think that there are some areas over here where they make their own joint. This is cool, like really warm. There's also a patio where you can chill with the sea out there. Too bad I didn't bought my shades because I didn't know it was going to be sunny. But yeah, this is what you get when you walk outside. Beautiful sunshine, you know, beautiful sun. And then you get a view of downtown Seattle. So far, I'm loving this city. 
That's to disappoint me. And it's just my first day. I've only been here for a couple of hours. Really nice market, really huge, you know. But now I think I'm gonna try to make my way downstairs because there's also like another vibe happening down there. So let's walk down and see what's going on. So here I am walking downstairs. Whoops. And they got like other shops too. Many malls and stuff. I'm gonna sell fritters. Pretty cool, it's like a little restaurant, Chinese restaurant. That's cool. A little shop over here, they got the music, they got a bookstore. It's like what you can't find over here then. I like the strut over here, like the wood and everything is good. Hands of the world. Not sure they made the products here by hand. Old Seattle paper works. This is lit here. And this used to be the tallest man in the whole world. He was eight feet, 11 inches. I'm pretty sure that's how tall he was. Wow, I look like a midget right next to him. <laughs> and I'm six one. It's cool, this is like an old school vibe for the booth. More happening over here. Yes, yeah, so you could buy, you know, if you're looking for gifts and stuff, this is a place to come. And they got jewelry right here. And the trees, and they got nutrition over here, like vitamins and stuff. So it's like, a, it's like a little bit of everything you find in this market. Here you got like a map of the market. So they got like little alleys, it's like, you know, it's like a historic district. And it's really, really cool, it's a lovely area. But now I'm gonna show you an area that's really cool. Kind of gives you like a European vibe, like the architecture and everything, which is right ahead of me. I'll show you. Over here, you see this. Then the cobblestones, and then the hill. I would, I would never knew this market has this. I'm not sure this is made out of stones. Oh, it's actually gum, so I'm not gonna even touch it. <laughs> or something like that. But yeah, but it's really cool. This is dope. Pretty lit. Could be like an Instagram haven over here. Look at this, it's like people pace, you know. Hmm. It's literally gum, I'm not even touching this. <laughs> crazy, right? But yeah, that's a cool thing of Pike Place Market. They got a couple of alleyways over here and they even label their alleys, like I'll show you ahead of me. Like this little alley that I'm walking, they call it Post Alley. Post Alley, and I'll give you a free sense of view of what's going on over here. So it goes all the way up there. And this is like another cool area. It kind of looks like a station, but yeah. There's the cobblestones there in downtown Seattle, it's over that way. But I'm gonna go back in and check out some of the food. I think this is where they fill the fishes. Hopefully they do it. <laughs> but I'm not sure. I don't think I want this side of the market, so let's check it out. But yeah, meat. And you can get drinks over there in the back. It's like they're cutting fresh meat. I wish you guys could smell the Roma over here of all the food and it's like a really nice smell. Yeah, not much happening over here, so I think I'm just gonna turn back and walk forward and see what can I find. So, there was a spot that I wanted to try. I wanted to eat because it looked like really good. And then when I go now, it looks like they closed really early, so. <laughs> That's what I really wanted, but I'm probably gonna walk around and see what can I find, because I know there's, you know, a little bit of everything around here, so you just gotta walk around. So it's a really cool spot, so hopefully the food is good. But I'm sure it's gonna be good, you know? So you can even sit here and eat it, so I'm just gonna sit here and wait for my food. Spotted this Thai food over here. It's like a hole in a wall, you know? The only thing about this market or around here is that a lot of places are close early, so they're literally gonna close in five minutes, so I just order quickly something, and. They're gonna make it for me, so I guess I'll eat, I'll eat right there, so... So I guess... But it's good that they cook it here really fresh, so let's check it out. That's it. It's steamy right now, so it's really, really hot. <laughs> but I know it's gonna be... It's, it's gonna be really good. It has chicken, and it's fried rice. 
Yeah, I didn't know what to pick, but I haven't eaten anything, so I'm just hungry. She was gonna close, so I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna go with this, with the fried rice. So I'm just gonna dig in. Let me try. Wow, it's really hot, but. Mmm. It's really good. And then the chicken, and it has vegetables, you know. They gave me also some soy sauce, so maybe I'll try it with the soy sauce to see how it tastes, but. Mmm. Really good. Made a little mess, but I sprinkled the soy sauce out. I guess I'm just gonna mix it up. Mix it up, and it's probably gonna have a wow, look at the smoke coming out. It's so interesting that you order and they make the food fresh, you know. That's when you know the restaurant is quality, like a good quality. <laughs> Yeah, now let me taste. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. It's really good. So, that Thai food that I ate there, really good. Like I say, it's like really fresh. The way I see just make it over there, really lovely lady. I wish I could have talked to her a little bit more. But yeah, as soon as you order, they just make it right there. So you know the food is going to be fresh, really good. And I'm going to have to come back here early to get more options because it looks like they close really early all the business over here. Not sure why, but it's like a really cool spot. I was trying to find, you know, what to eat. So I grabbed that. Later, I'll figure out what else can I eat. So that was the end of my video exploring Pike Place Market. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and get the chance to visit here someday. So stay tuned for more. Be safe out there. Everybody, God bless y'all and peace.